let's let's say you're wanting to increase in your knitting i'm just showing you very basic stuff because this is for the beginners and um Later on I can do a course that's got a lot more advanced stuff in it. But I just want to show you the basics. So if you're going to increase, I'm going to show you um, the way that I increase, the best way that I do it. So you're going to go into your stitch like you're knitting. Don't take it off. Then you see the back of that same stitch over there. You're going to go into that stitch like that and knit. And now you've just made two stitches out of one. And then you're going to knit your next stitch. Okay, so you knit. Don't finish it. Go into the back of this stitch. Knit that one. And come through. And now you see you've made another increase. Alright, another way to increase when you're knitting. So you've got this one. That you go like that. And you go like that into that back one. Okay, that's why now another way is this it's not the world's best way but it is a way to increase you hold your thumb this way on top of the yarn bring it down bring it towards you grab it there and then you're going to grab this piece of yarn here and then pull okay so let's do it again so you're holding your yarn here, you put your thumb over it, bring your thumb under and around and then you're going to grab this piece here and let it go. And there you have another stitch increased over there. And then you would just keep going. And there's your extra stitch. Okay, so that's two ways in which you can increase. Um, this one's probably, they're both pretty easy, they're not really hard. As I said, just bring this one around like that. Bring that stitch in there, let it go, and whoops, you have it there. It's really, it's a backward loop that you're using, like that. So if you can't do it, you just make a loop and turn it backwards and put that on there. So that's if you were increasing. Now I want to show you two increases if, you are, if you're doing the purl stitch. Alright, so I'll show you one way to increase if you are purling. You're going to pull your stitch and then don't take it out. Then the back loop of the pull, you're going to go into the back this way. So you're purling the back stitch. Not, not like a knit, you're going to pull into the back of it. And then you pull and then you've just increased another stitch. So in there pull, then go to the back of that stitch, over there, and pull. And that's how you do your pull increase. Okay, so in there, around, don't take it off, come to the back of this one, and come through to the back. And there you've increased. Alright, now I want to show you some decreases that you can use. Alright, so to do a decrease in your knitting, one of the ways is to simply knit two stitches together. And then you've decreased. But now there are different places that you use these decreases because some of them leave a horrible little hole and others don't. But that's your real basic decrease. Just knit two together. And it would be the same in the pull. All that you would do is you would pull two together just backwards like that and you'd pull them together and that would give you a decrease okay so there you have a decrease now another way would be to if you're knitting would be to slip one stitch knit a stitch and then you pull that slip stitch over like that okay so you'd slip one knit one and pull the slip stitch over and it would be the same in the pull. You'd be in the pull position. You'd slip one, you would pull one, and then you would just pull this slip stitch over that one. Okay, so slip one, pull one, and pull the slip stitch over. It's called pass, 
the slip stitch over PSSO and that's how you would do it there. So there you've done two decreases for each and so yeah. that's giving you a few things that you can work with, some increases and decreases. There is a lot more, there is a lot of variety but I just want to give you the basics, I don't want to overwhelm you with anything. And now what I want to do is I want to show you how to bind off, when you are finished working I'm going to show you how to bind off all of your stitches. Alright, so now I want to show you how to bind off. This is really simple. You're going to knit one and knit the next one. Okay, and then you're going to pull this one over. You're going to knit one, pull this one over. Knit one, pull this over. Knit one, pull it over. Knit one, pull it over. And you're going to do that all the way. And this is your real generic bind off. Once again, there's a lot of different bind offs, but I want to just show you the real basics. And later on, as we learn how to knit better, I can show you a lot more techniques. But yeah, that's all that you're going to do to bind off. And I might as well bind them all off and then I'll show you what to do. So you just keep going. So my stitches are on the wrong way. And as you can see, because it's on the wrong way, I'm going in the other way of the stitch. These are all fine. And... Then you cut your yarn off when you're done and you bring it through the little loop and then you sew your work in. There you go, so that's what you do there. And then you can cut your yarn off right over here and you bring it through here. Bring that through there and that ties it off. And there you have your sample piece of whatever it is. And it's all straight because I didn't lose any stitches. I took out my increases and decreases. But um, yeah, then when you want to sew something together, you get yourself one of those sewing needles. You need to get yourself a thicker needle. I just take one of these. This is actually too thin, but I can make it work. You get, it's either tapestry needle or one of those, they're very thick and they have a big eye here, you want a big eye. Now sometimes it's hard to get your yarn into this little eye. So I either do that and then I scrunch this all together really tight. I flip it over there and then I make it really tight and I bring it through there like that. I pinch it through and I was able to get that through. If you just try, you're not going to get it through this way. So the best is to straighten your yarn, fray it out like that, hold it really tight and bring it through there. Alright and if you're sewing, generally speaking you're going to put your right sides together and you're going to sew. So if you're sewing something, once again there's a lot of different ways to sew. There's a lot of ways to do everything because knitting has been around for so long and people come up with different ideas all the time. But generally you're going to just sew from the one side to the other. So from there you would go into here. That's if you're sewing something together. And then you would just take this side and this side and just sew it together. And that's what you would do if you were needing to sew your work together. And then you would turn it around and this would be my right side. And you don't see your sewing and you don't even see your sewing. You see a little bit now because I'm using a different color yarn. But um, yeah, so that's how it would be. And that's how you sew your work together. And whatever you're doing, that's how you, then you would take your other yarn pieces and sew them in. And if you're trying to get rid of your yarn, not sewing together, just go through your stitches. On this side, you just bring it through, bring it through, bring it through. And then I just go a different way like that. And then I cut my yarn off and that yarn is not going anywhere. So that is how you do your sewing. Um, so I think I've covered everything that you need to know as a beginner knitter. And I think this should get you going. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make our scarf. So let's go ahead and practice what we've done in making a pretty little scarf.